Welcome to This Week in Gaming, ending October 8th, 2016. Now there's a little bit to go through, so we'll make it all quick. First up, XL World vs Sword Art Online Millennium Twilight has been announced for PS4 and Vita. This is going to be an action RPG crossover of both Reiki Kawahara's works. Now, most people wouldn't have realised there was a manga crossover of those two, so perhaps this will involve some of that. Now, Hatsune Miku VR Future Live will release on October 13th for both North America and Europe. Now it will be $14.99 US for Stage 1 with 7 songs and Stage 2 and 3 will be launched at a later date for the same price. Now there is a Season Pass bundle also available and I have no idea how much of that will be. Uh, the PlayStation Awards will be held on December 13th at 5pm Japan Standard Time. PSVR has been added to the lineup. And if you want to vote, there will be a link in the description down below. And this closes on October 20th. Everyone that participates will be given a downloadable theme for PS4, PS3 and Vita. Now you can also comment on the site and whoever wins best commenter will win a PlayStation VR bundle. For those who are wondering where Moogles will show up in Final Fantasy XV, they will show up as items. Now, by taking these Moogles with you into battle, you can avoid all sorts of troubles. Dungeon Romper 1 and 2 Reload will, has been announced to be a physical and digital release for PS4. It will release sometime in early 2017. There's a limited edition on the NIS online store that includes a 40 page hardcover full colour art book, two disc soundtrack, Monokuma sunglasses, Monokuma coin, a sorry I was born stupid sticker and collector's box. Now, the dungeon demo that has been shown off at conventions for Final Fa World of Final Fantasy will release October 17th in Japan for people that want to play if they haven't gotten the chance to yet. If you keep your cleared save data and start a new game in World of Final Fantasy, you'll get a to battle the special mirage of a Magitek armor P in the arena. Finally, Gravity Rush gets delayed to January 18th for Europe, the 19th for Japan, and the 20th for North America. As an apology, the premium DLC will be released free of charge. The change of date was most likely because of uh, Final Fantasy 15 and Last Guardian releasing in the week leading up to it. Of course sales would probably not be as great if they stayed on the same release. Now coming out next week we have PlayStation VR on the 13th. Uh, games that I'm looking forward to buying for it, but not be able to afford, as of yet. 
uh, Hatsune Miku VR Future Live, PSVR Worlds, Riz Infant, Rigs, Summer Lesson, Idol Master Cinderella Girls Viewing Revolution, 100 Foot Robot Golf, and Batman Arkham VR. The only non PSVR game I'm looking forward to is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Definitive Edition. Now, hopefully they add in Act 3, like the small movie that came with the Collector Edition of Phantom Pain, because, as we all know, they wouldn't have made Act 3 from Konami. Now, hopefully by the time I get PlayStation VR, I will make an unboxing video, so look forward to that.